I've never even been in a fist fight. I'm 45 years old, I've never been in a fight, and now I can't. Because I've missed my window. You can't get into a fight in your 40s, because even if you win, you lose. There's no scenario in which I come out of that looking better. Like, even if I were to kick somebody's ass, which is not gonna happen, even if I were to kick somebody's ass, there's gonna be like rolled ankles and ice packs in an AA meeting in my future. It's never gonna be like, wow, check out that middle-aged guy wrestling in the Bennigan's parking lot. He seems cool. The only time I get close to getting into a physical altercation is when I'm riding my bike. Uh, I ride a bicycle around New York. Anybody ride a bike on a regular basis here? Oh, yeah. Don't you feel better than other people on a bike? It's amazing, just anything smug inside you just rises to the surface. Every time I get on my bicycle, I'm like, oh, look at all of these motorists burning our Earth's precious fossil fuels. I will yell at them for every traffic infraction, and yet I will run every red light. You feel better than people. And it's great because like, I am filled with unexpressed anger and rage, but I'm also a coward. So a bike is great because you can yell at pedestrians and by the time they hear what you said, you're already gone. It's like lobbing a douche grenade. I did get my cup come up and uh, I was riding around my neighborhood and a guy ran through a red light and he almost hit me. It was very scary. My adrenaline was pumping. I had to pull my bike up on the curb and then he went and parked his car. And as I was riding my bike by him, I'm not thinking, I'm in bicycle mode. So I said, nice driving, dickwad. And I get 10 feet past the guy and then I hear the ignition turn on again. <laughs> like, oh no, that's not good. That's not a good sound at all. So I start trying to ride away faster, but I didn't want to look like a total coward by standing up on the bike. So I'm just pedaling as hard as I can while seated. So I look like a Russian circus bear. It's like <laughs> the dude pulls out, he tears down the street after me, corners me with his car, rolls down the window, just a massive mountain of a dude. He looks at me and he says, what the hell did you say to me, bro? And I will admit to you that most of me was like because I'm, I'm just like, I'm not a brave man. But then I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, Finnegan? You are a 45-year-old man who has never been in a legitimate fist fight. Why not today? Why not now? You're already wearing a helmet. If you're gonna get into a fight with somebody, you wanna pick a day where you have a helmet on. That's just solid planning. So I got in his face and said, hey man, you ran that red light, you could have gotten me killed. And he says, who the hell are you, bro? And I said the least intimidating thing possible. I looked him in the eye and I said, I'm a guy on a bike. <laughs> now, I want to be clear about this. I know exactly how impotent that sounds. As the words left my mouth, I was like, no. What I meant was like, I'm a person on a bicycle. Be careful, you'll hurt somebody. But it really sounded like a challenge. Like I was throwing the gauntlet at his feet, like cyclist motherfucker. <laughs> and I wish I could describe for you the sheer delight in his eyes. I said, I'm a guy on a bike. And he's like, oh my God, is this Christmas? Like he could not believe his good fortune. So I said, I'm a guy on a bike. And he looked back at me and he smiled and he said, a gay guy on a bike. <laughs> it's like, really? That's your big comeback, gay guy? Okay, you're clearly a moron. I'm a college graduate. I'm gonna destroy this man rhetorically. <laughs> so I start trying to argue with him, but he starts using this defense technique that only men do, women don't do this, only men do this, where a guy will just pick one dumb thing and say it over and over again. <laughs> Anytime I said anything, he just went, what'd you say, gay guy on a bike? <laughs> Can't hear you, gay guy on a bike. Speak up, gay guy on a bike, gay guy on a bike, gay guy on a bike, gay guy on a bike. And he totally won the argument. I'm not too proud to admit that he won the argument. Because if there's one thing I have learned is that in an argument, there is no defense against confident stupidity. If 2016 taught us anything, you cannot defeat confident stupidity. The next time you're- <laughs> Things are hot for people everywhere. I wanted to create memories. You were like, oh no, yeah, it was a bad idea. That's what it was. It, was an, it, was a, it does not go over the border very well. <laughs> Because here's, like, yeah, it was so...